What do an umbrella, a shark, a house plant, the brake pads in a mining truck and a smoke detector have in common? They can all be connected online and in fact they are. By 2022 it is expected that more than a trillion sensors will be connected to the internet. If all things are connected, it will shift the way we do business and use resources and will eventually yield massive amounts of data. But who owns this data and how safely will it be kept? By 2020, around 22% of the world's cars will be connected to the internet. That's 290 million vehicles. And by 2024, more than 50% of home internet traffic will be used by appliances and devices, rather than just for communication and entertainment. In this scenario, what if your car or your home got hacked? The Internet of Things raises huge questions on privacy and security that have to be addressed by governments, corporations and consumers. But if we get things right, it will also bring unprecedented efficiency to processes that will no longer be offline. Imagine cows in a farm being monitored to obtain health reports that will help farmers feed them better. Or tracking the behaviour of complex industrial machinery, preventing accidents and shortening downtime for maintenance. All kinds of devices will be able to gather and share any type of information from their environment, seamlessly organising themselves to make our lives smarter and safer. A world where all things are connected is going to bring endless opportunities for most human activities. But it will depend on us whether we are going to take advantage of it or let it take advantage of us. Will data be collected, shared and stored to improve our lives or will it be used to control us? Consumer internet connects about 5 billion devices. Think about all the new business models that came about, all the changes in our lives. And now imagine we connect 50 billion devices to each other. Devices that run manufacturing floors, that run energy plants, that run healthcare systems. What kind of value can they create in the world? What kind of business models can happen through this? We need businesses to rethink their business models. You gotta start looking differently at your consumer relationship, the way you price your products, the way you provide the services. And increasingly we see you don't pay for a product per se, but increasingly you pay for a service. You see increasing importance of these ecosystems that together start creating these tremendous new solutions that dramatically can improve people's lives. We can really increase the utilization rate of products. Today, the utilization rate of cars is maybe 15%. Half of the time is used to search for parking spaces or standing in traffic jams. Using data and software, we will be enabled to automate driving. We will bring up the utilization rate. And I think the same might happen to the industry. We will see devices that no longer fail or are repaired before the failure happens. And that will change the way that we buy products, that will change the way we rent products, that will change the way we think about products. In the past, the focus was on automation of muscle work. In the future, software will really help us to automate knowledge work, to come up with better decisions, faster decisions. The skill set required for jobs in manufacturing will dramatically change. We would see far more white collar workers in factories than what we have today. We will see many products being offered as services. Some people estimate that the industrial Internet of Things is as big as the entire US economy. Capturing that benefit, creating the right framework, engaging the right parties yeah. is essential so that at the end of the day, the benefits can outweigh the risks. There are some pretty significant questions that leaders within those organizations have. By coming together and sharing perspectives and understanding how others are thinking about these issues, they can collectively come up with better approaches to be able to create the enabling environment, as well as individually walk away with a more informed position to make individual decisions. The ability to rethink products and services, reinvent business models, and retrain and retool the workforce. Doing this and more will be important to make sure that this trend, the industrial internet of things, doesn't just deliver the business and economic advantage, but also the human advantage. It's the people behind it that have the power to make it truly transformative.